Russia's vast stocks of Soviet-era weaponry are running out. Loss of equipment of Russians increases. Due to the large loss of equipment, the enemy sends infantry to assault or attacks on golf carts. This was stated by a serviceman of the 77th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Viktor Petrovich, on air at Kiev 24. He noted that in the Borovsk direction, Russian occupiers often attack in small groups and this happens constantly. According to him, the enemy uses a limited amount of equipment. Most likely, they have very little equipment because they lost a lot of it in previous periods. Perhaps their production and restoration of Soviet equipment cannot cope with such a loss of equipment. In a month and a half, we destroyed more than 70 units of equipment and hit another 70 units, Petrovich emphasized. The enemy does not have such a large amount of equipment to constantly storm and accordingly simply sends infantry on foot or in golf carts, said Petrovich. He noted that a company of strike unmanned aerial vehicles in their brigade's area of responsibility destroyed three such golf carts recently. For a long time, it seemed that a war of attrition between Ukraine and a Russia with five times its population could only end in one way. But the much-vaunted Russian offensive against Kharkiv in the north that started in May is fizzling out. Its advances elsewhere along the line, especially in the Donbass region, have been both strategically trivial and achieved only at huge cost. Russia's vast stocks of Soviet-era weaponry are running out. The key issue is not manpower. Russia can continue to find another 25,000 troops each month to maintain a frontline strength of about 470,000. It is also ramping up production of missiles to target Ukrainian infrastructure, writes The Economist. But for all the talk about Russia becoming a war economy with about 8% of its GDP spent on military spending, it can only recoup its staggering losses of tanks, armored infantry vehicles and artillery by pulling out of storage and replenishing Soviet stockpiles. While those stockpiles are vast, they are not limitless. Most intelligence estimates suggest that Russia lost around 3,000 tanks and 5,000 other armoured vehicles in the first two years of the war. Dutch intelligence site Oryx found evidence of 3,235 tanks destroyed, but suggests the actual figure is significantly higher. Сейчас будем выходить на открытое, на открыточку. Опасный маршрут начинается. И поехали. Вот это вот, наверное, тропа. Доехали. Им не повезло. Все, открыточку нам проехать до посадочки. Дотянуть с нам. Дотянуть чуть-чуть. Я вам скажу, покойнее что-то. А это ж мы как смертники ездили по этой дороге. Вот они, все здесь. Все здесь.